Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly go over the new and improved eBay Seller Hub so that you have the knowledge to get started selling right away. Now first things first, you need to make sure that you have signed up for a free eBay account. If you want to sell on eBay, pretty quick and simple, all you need to do is sign up. Now that you've signed up for an account, I'll show you how to navigate through your seller dashboard so that you can access the new and improved seller hub. First, you need to click the My eBay menu at the top right and click Selling. From here, you'll be brought to the original seller dashboard. By default, the seller hub is not activated. However, you can quickly switch to the seller hub view by clicking this option here. It's going to ask you to confirm, and once you do, Click Switch Tools, and you will now have access to the new and improved Seller Hub. Welcome to the new and improved Seller Hub. It's a very intuitive dashboard that will allow you to manage your business as you start selling on eBay so that you can start making profit. Now, to quickly go over your overview page, you'll see modules for tasks, sales, orders, listings, your sales in the past 30 days, generated traffic, your seller level, feedback. You even have a module for your selling tools to help you sell, announcements, promotional offers. One key thing to note, your monthly limit. Whenever you create an eBay account, by default, you have some limitations of items that you can sell and the total value of the items you are listing. You can keep track of that here. Now, you can also personalize your overview so that you can prioritize certain modules of importance. Now that we've gone over your overview page, we'll quickly go over the different tabs available to you on your Seller Hub. On the orders tab, this is where you can manage all your orders that are awaiting payment, awaiting shipment, paid and shipped, cancellations, returns, disputes, and you can even access shipping labels. Now that we've gone over your seller hub, we can quickly go over the different tabs available to you in your seller hub. In orders, this is where you can manage all your orders that are waiting to be shipped, paid for. You can also manage cancellations, returns, disputes and requests, as well as shipping labels and tracking. In the listings tab, this is where you can create new listings and check your Active listings, set your business policies, set up listing templates, change or modify the location of the product that you are selling. Just get a general overview of all of your products that you are selling. In another video, I will go over the different ways that you can list on eBay. In the marketing tab, this is where you can essentially build your brand or your products, or your business on eBay. It's a pretty cool feature. I personally have not messed around it with my, myself, but this is where you can do markdowns, manage your advertising, um, and just set up the general branding for your store. Performance is where you can just see a general overview of all your sales, traffic, your selling costs, your seller level, well as your sale history. You can also see all of this on your overview. For payments, this is where you can set um, and manage all of your paid products, orders, um, how you want to access your payout, payout settings. The cool thing about the Seller Hub now and how eBay processes payments is you can decide whether it want, you want to send it to your PayPal account or however you want to receive your, your 
funds. Research. This is where you can get more detailed information on the types of products you want to sell that you're currently selling or products that you've been researching so that you can stay competitive on this marketplace. In reports, this is where you can download reports on all of your product history, your sales. You can even upload um, additional information so that you can utilize that for listings or modifying information, etc. Now that concludes our overview of the new and improved eBay Seller Hub. In the event you do not like any of these features and would like to go back to the seller dashboard, the original seller dashboard, you can simply click opt out of Seller Hub and it will ask you to confirm so that you can go back to the original seller dashboard.